I love a fairy tale. Actually, I love romantic comedies. They're kind of a guilty pleasure of mine. I love the idea of these people that are just pretty and they're such, so nice, we get to know them. Then they face a difficulty and then very nice and neat, all wrapped up in a bow, they figure it out and they live happily ever after. That's how we deal with our visions. They're kind of just a little fairy tale in our head. We imagine we're the hero or the heroine and we want something and we get through it and then in the end we have it. It's exactly the way we imagined and we live happily ever after. You know that that's not really what it's like, but it's so easy to leave your vision in your head where everything is safe and secure and imagine that there's always that opportunity that you could always try it until you can't anymore, until the moment passes. Sometimes those windows never open up again. That's why I think it's so important for you to spark your vision with action. This week, that's what we're focusing on, and I created a graphic for you with six things that you can do, six actions that will light the fire so that you can set your passion into motion, to start experiencing your best life, to learn to listen to your soul's imprint because your soul is telling you to do something good for yourself so that your life can get better. And when your life gets better, your community benefits. It's really, really important. But today, I wanna to talk to you about the benefits of action, why it's so important, even if you don't get what you want, to act on your vision. So I thought of five benefits, actually. Five benefits that are just so vital in the process of acting on your vision. The first one is you build the skills for learning. You know, so often as adults, we're really, we're just not good at learning because we're not asking those big questions anymore. We're supposed to be the expert, right? We're supposed to know what we need to know. And because there's so many things to learn, so many things to try, I kind of feel like secretly, we're just cowering away from our vision. And we're just thinking, I don't know. I don't know if I would have the skills to figure that out. You do, you do have the skills to figure out your vision. Here's what I know to be true, is that if I can envision it, it's possible. And if it's possible and I envision it, I believe that somehow deep down, I have the ability to figure it out. I think that with every question, there is an answer. With every problem, there is a solution. And that I know that I can do it. Learning how to learn is important. Learning how to fall and get back up again. Learning how to handle when the outcome isn't the way that you want it to be. Learning how to um, release one vision and claim another vision when you learn more. The second one is really connected to the first one and that's that you build confidence in the process of pursuing your vision. Because when you do it, you start to understand what you can handle as a person. You understand that the world doesn't fall apart if the vision doesn't look exactly the way you want. You understand that you have the ability to choose whatever you want to vision. You get bolder in what you want to envision because you realize that you were thinking too small, that you were dreaming too small. So there's so much that comes, right, with pursuing your vision with action. Third, it creates an understanding for you about the process of pursuing your vision because there is a process and it becomes more fluid because you're thinking and then you act. You know, in the beginning you have a vision. You know, I had a vision that really lasted as early as I can remember until I was about 37. It took so long for me to act on that really act on that first vision. And then something that I thought would take a couple years really only took four months. And I thought, why did I wait so long? Who knows where I could have been if I had understood how this process works? You see, you're not meant to have two or three visions in your lifetime. You're meant to have hundreds. And you should just continue to go through the process of trying and learning and adjusting and moving and looking and there's a once you understand how that works your life is going to be fundamentally changed and I'm telling you changed for the better number four you start to experience your vision and there is something amazing about that. It's so great to have pinch me moments where you say, wow, I'm looking around, this is something that I never thought I would have, something that I only imagined and now it's real for me. And there is some amazing energy that is sent from you to your community when you're in the process of experiencing. You must experience, that's what life is all about. If you have a, an imagination to go 
to uh, a part of the world that you've never seen, go do it. I mean, I'm not saying it's going to be easy. I don't know what sacrifices that you would have to make, what asks you would have to, to do. But if you imagine yourself surfing somewhere in the world, even if it isn't anything that you imagine, I promise you there's a reason why you need to go there. And experiencing it is going to be something life-changing for you. The last benefit is that you get to see the real story. It's important for you not to be in a fairy tale. You know what that fairy tale does to you? It keeps you in this now that may not be right for you. And you stay clinging to security because you're not sure what that vision would be. When you get into reality and you start experiencing it, then you start to see more of the story. The, the vision starts to become 3D. It's not flat anymore. And then also, even better, you can see further down the road. You can see other things that were part of that vision because what you have is really one dimensional until you act on it. So there's some things that I want you to do now that you understand, now that I hope that I've convinced you to start acting on some of those things that probably are wild and crazy and who knows what people will say when you go there. Here's what I want you to do. Number one, I want you to push your impossible. I want you to go right up to your impossible and step over it and dare to challenge that vision. Not all visions are happy. Some visions are scary and that's how they keep you in place. So if you uh, can only run so far and you're afraid, run further. If you are afraid to love any more than you are right now, love more, laugh more, cry more. Go to the edge of the impossible and then just step right over it and you will see the world doesn't fall apart, that there are some real benefits. There are gonna be some challenges, but you are going to be able to handle it. The second thing that I want you to do with all of this information is I want you to push to experience any version of your vision that you can. I want you to. I want you to go buy the paints and go ahead and create your first piece of art. I want you to make the offer to that first client. I want you to stop thinking and push to say, is this in my head? Do I even know how this smells, tastes, feels? How is this going to be? How is this going to be? Step into the be of the situation and stop thinking about it because I promise you it's going to be so much better in the experience. Finally, I want you to just ask more questions. Start writing the story. Get into the details. Take this thing from one dimension into three dimensions. This was a dream. This moment that I'm having with you was a dream and I wasn't very good at it in the beginning and sometimes I still stumble. If I go back and look at what I've done in video and the things that I've done, programs that I've done, and offers that I've made, clearly I improve every time I try. But I'm always willing now to ask the questions, what would it be like? What if I did this? And then right away, step into action. Because my job is to live my life, and so is yours. If you want more coaching like this, make sure that you find me on Facebook in the 180 Life Coaching Group and find more details about this program. This video is about a program at lizney.com. Look for the 100 Day Journey and make sure that you subscribe. I have a vision of hundreds and thousands of people watching videos just like this and in moments in their life where they are completely encouraged. So please subscribe and share because you are part of my vision and I want to be part of yours. So here's the deal. Are you ready to live your life? Are you ready to step out of your own constructed romantic comedy or fairy tale and start experiencing your vision? Are you ready to do this with me? I hope that you are. I am stepping out in faith that my vision is meant to be acted on and I hope that you will too. Goodness, that was like really hard. <laughs> <laughs>